an athlete in the university sector who was willing to speak out about biological men competing in women's sport. She speaks out. Uh, protesters turn up. They hold her hostage. The university doesn't support her right to free speech. It congratulates the protesters. Mm -hmm. She was physically attacked. Her name is Riley Gaines, and she had the unfortunate luck to have to swim against Leah Thomas, who's a trans woman, biological man, who was in the 500s as a male swimmer and became number one once he transitioned over to being a woman. And uh, she came in tied against him in one of the big championship finals. And they wouldn't give her the trophy. They gave it to him because they wanted Leah Thomas to stand there with the trophy, not Riley Gaines, the actual female swimmer who was raised as a girl, has been a girl her whole life, unlike Leah, who was Bill about two minutes ago. Uh, so Leah Thomas uh, has engendered a lot of acrimony in the swimming community, including from Riley Gaines. And Riley's got a thing or two to say about it. Riley's not out there saying trans women should have absolutely no role in public life or you know shouldn't be recognized, et cetera. She just has a lane when it comes to athletics that is relevant to her. That's all she wanted to talk about at this San Francisco State University. She went out there, she was invited. She went, she showed up and tried to speak to the students there. And then she was essentially kidnapped. She was chased out of the building almost, they wanted her out, shoved her into a room. She couldn't get out. For three hours she was in there being screamed at, threatened. She had been punched in the face and in the shoulder by a trans woman. A man punched her, uh, dressed as a woman. Uh, they were demanding a ransom to release her from the building at all. And finally, she was able to, this is a young girl. She was in college last year. This is not some, you know, chiseled, cynical, old mofo like me. She's, <laughs> she's young uh -huh. and uh, handled herself very gracefully, managed to get out of there and tweeted about it. And even the tweet was subdued. You know, she said that they clearly want to silence me and therefore I'm doing the right thing and I'm going to continue using my voice. The university, the head of the university who was responsible for this behavior essentially, blocked Riley Gaines on Twitter. She blocked her from being able to follow the head of the, I, you've gotta be kidding me. Mm. And wrote a long letter of, of apology to the trans activists at her university, not to Riley Gaines. There was no apology to her. It was all about how proud she was of the students who showed up there and behaved peacefully, leaving out the paragraph of those of you who didn't, who embarrassed us and made us into a national laughing stock, should be ashamed of yourselves. And at least the fig leaf of, and we're gonna do the half a day training to teach you not to behave like that, the way they did at Stanford University when they shouted down that judge. It's an absolute disgrace. Well, also, let's put it this way, uh, while obviously none of your staff would do this, but if a member of your staff uh, closed a door and wouldn't let you out of the studio you're in right now, that's a crime. When this woman couldn't freely move, that was a crime. But no one will be charged. There'll be no further investigation. But if they were all wearing red hats, um, there'd be live coverage on CNN of the raiding of their homes. She's been physically assaulted, which is a crime. She was battered, that's a crime. She's been kidnapped, that's a crime too. Uh, she's been harassed, that's a civil tort for which you could file a lawsuit, and nothing's been done. There's been no police inquiry as far as we can tell. The police, the campus police were with her doing very little to protect her, and the San Francisco PD isn't gonna do anything either. I, I mean, they, they've dropped the ball so many times this year, we could go back to Paul Pelosi and so on. Uh, they don't have a great record. So she's not gonna get any redress from the criminal system. She is going to sue and I, I will help fund it. I, I'm delighted to see her fighting back, not just for her right to speak, but for everyone's. We can't allow this to go on. They, again, back to my original point, they're not mad at her for saying trans people shouldn't exist. And I don't recognize that you can transition gender, which is a position a lot of people hold. She's just saying it's not fair to make biological women compete against people like Leah Thomas in sport. And for that, she was hurt, assaulted, shouted down, kidnapped, punished, no apology, blocked. And so like, we are crossing a line here that I really think we're at an inflection point now on this debate, at least here in America. It got so much coverage. This Riley Gaines is emerging as a sort of civil rights leader uh, on this issue. People will listen to her. She has standing to make these arguments. And yet the left, notwithstanding the fact that she's a woman they would have championed five years ago, is treating her like she did something wrong.